Hey everybody, got a how-to video here. I don't really make a whole lot of these because, you know, there's there's not much that isn't out there already. Um, whatever you want to figure out, you can just Google it on YouTube, so to speak, and there's usually a video for how to do all almost all this stuff. The only how-tos I do are um, when I come across something new that there's no information. Hi, Sam. <coughs> so, what's going on is I've figured out how to do bursts on veneers using dies. Now, when you're doing a burst normally using a die, you'd hit it with one color, you'd sand it back, and then you'd hit it with another color, or, you know, you'd repeat that kind of a thing. And that's how you get your burst. Obviously, sanding back is not really an option with a veneer. And I've, you know, cut through the veneer on a couple builds I've done in the past, and it's it's no fun. You know, I've, I've I had one build, the uh, Purple ES355. It was actually supposed to be the North Carolina guitar build stained in uh, North Carolina blue and I got it too dark and tried to sand it back and cut through and that was it for that kit as far as stain grade went so it became a paint grade kit but <coughs> since then I've figured out how to do the burst with stain with no sanding and basically the trick is, is that you have to think ahead about how your colors are going to mix. Now, let's say I want to do, let's say I want to do just a, a cherry burst, okay? I'd do red around the edges, say like this was a headstock and I was going to do a cherry burst on it. I'd do red around the edges and up to, it would You'd have red around the edges, you'd have yellow in the middle, and then where you put both red and yellow, it would be orange. So you figure out how much you want yellow, how much you want red, and how much you want orange. You figure out you know, where your orange is going to change to yellow, and you take all the rest of that and you make that red. And then you figure out where your orange is going to turn to red, and you take all that part there, and you make that yellow, and so you end up with your three tones out of two colors. <coughs> now, here what I'm going to do, spot, what's up? Here what I'm going to do, this is my snow leopard here. Come on, baby, I'm trying to shoot a video. I know this is your favorite table, but your favorite guitar isn't here. It's sitting in the rack next to it. Come on, baby, let go. Spot down. Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. That's a big kitty there. All right, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to use three colors. I should end up with a five-tone burst. It's going to be black to red and then to yellow. So there's going to be a little orange between the red and yellow, and there's probably going to be a bit of purple between the red and the black. Come on, you guys. Be cool. So, except, yeah, I know. Come on, baby. Spot. You really want to be in this video, huh? All right, don't make a mess. I'll put the dies over here. How about that? That'll work. All right, so here we go. Start with some black. These are Kita wood dyes mixed with water. The black is actually more of an indigo blue. That's why you're going to get the purple when it mixes with the red. Whatever you do, don't drink this stuff, right? Yeah, it doesn't smell good. Food smells a lot better. There you go. Go eat. All right, so I'm going to hit the black up just a little bit around the edges here. Now I'm only using tissue paper, toilet paper, but um, 
there's not a lot of pores in this. There's not a lot of open grain. So, um, this won't leave lint in it. <laughs> you can't sit on the work, baby. You're about to fall off. Beep, beep. Come on, man. You are just totally screwing up this video, aren't you? You're just totally screwing up this video. Okay, you're going to be in the video. Everybody, this is Spot. He's the biggest of my babies. He is... How old are you now? You're about nine months old. Hmm. Now see, tissue paper and um, paper towels, stuff like that, we'll start doing this. This stuff has a lot of uh, dye left in it. And we'll tend to leave spots on your work if you let them sit on the surface too long. But as long as you keep the stuff pretty wet, it won't break up on you too bad and you can get away with using it like I am here. It's just still in camera, apparently. So I'm just kind of going around the edge here and hitting it with the black. Then I'll hit it with the yellow in the middle. And this is the strategy that you want to do is that, say like I was doing a, a three-tone, two-color burst. I'd hit the outside first and then I'd hit all the rest of it. You want to put in like, you know, maybe your outside color, maybe your center color, and then you want to do all the, more or less do all the, all the stuff in between, and you're blending all kind of at once. So we want some space for this black to turn, to blend with the red. Careful, baby, I don't want to get you. So I want to make sure I got it going over far enough. But once again, I'm working a headstock kind of a thing here. So I don't have a whole lot of room to work with. I might actually have to get down to doing a little bit of this with Q-tips, but hopefully not. So still in camera. I'm sure this video is going to be really popular with the cat lovers out there. You like playing with daddy's string? All my babies love playing with daddy's strings. Come on, Spot. Be cool. Alright, so here we are. So that's the black. Spot, come on, man. Hold on, folks. I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And I've got the yellow here. Now i got to figure out... I think I'm going to go about... I need to leave some space for it to mix with the red. I want a fair amount of all yellow in the center, though. So, this is the part that I want to be all yellow. There's something about like this. Thing. And then I'm going to need some space for it to blend with the red and give me some orange. So I'm going to go a little wider. All the way around. Give me some blending area. About like. Probably do. All right. Seems a little excessively wet there at that knot. Yeah. All right. And then you do the rest. Let's 
see if this works. And once I finish doing this, then I'm going to show you some examples of some bodies and necks and headstocks and stuff that I've already done this on. Give you an idea of what it looks like on a real guitar. don't want to get too much into the black or the yellow part with this red, but you want to get just barely so that you get some blend in. So we've got to come on, start by filling out the middle. You can see how it's kind of turning orange there. the red part. Now we start blending. See, this is starting to get some purple onto it, so I don't want to use it on any other section of the work except for the purple part. I'm not really getting a whole lot of blend with this black. I can basically kind of get it wetter to get it to bleed some more. Probably been doing all this a bit faster before it had time to really set well. Or I can always come back with a little bit of wet like uh, tissue. That'll help things bleed some. This might work okay though. This is starting to work. I do believe Once again, you want to keep all these little thingies off so they don't leave a spot. So you can get this part to blend some more. I wonder if trying to take it off will work. Let's try. some purple under there. Actually, do that with just a spot of yellow dye. So I'm going to come in here, get this left side. Get a little blend. 
can see it's trying to get kind of a yellow to orange kind of a thing going on there. And on this side, drop a die. Trinity, down, down, down. I've already played with one cat today. Don't need your grief too. There. It's terrible being so popular, I tell you. Hi, baby. This is a hyper cat. There's no way she's going to sit down. She's going to jump around and wander around and all that kind of stuff. Come on, I'm working. All right. Excuse me, I'll be right back. I think the deal is is that for some reason they feel a, a compulsion to say hi before they go and eat when they come inside. Alright, so drop more yellow. Still working the right side here. It's almost done. As you can see, this is not exactly even left to right. I can try to clean that up some though. Now let's try to get some top here. Okay, now need a little bit more red here and a little bit more red here. It looks like that might even things up a bit. And then we might hmm, could almost call it done. Not the greatest job. That red to black fade is not that great. I might be able to fix that though too. Let's see what happens here. Alright, so a little bit of red here. Yeah, so that's the technique. I'll be right back with some uh, examples on guitars. And we're back. Okay, so this is a Spalty PRS kit. This is done in uh, black and red. Sides are done in black, and then it's faded at the back with a little bit of uh, the black blended in in order to make the grain stand out. It's an LP. This one's done in uh, black, purple, um, red, and burgundy. So this is like five tones actually. Three colors, five tones, four colors, something like that. A little bit of black and purple on the sides. And then once again, it's burgundy on the back with uh, a little bit of the black and purple in order to make the grain stand out. This one here is another LP and this one is brown to yellow and again it's got a little bit of the brown here and then a lighter coffee kind of brown on the back. And next, let's see, this is the matching neck for that, the brown to yellow. the neck for the Cherry Burst PRS for this one. And I did the front and the back on it. So yeah, I think that one's going to turn out pretty cool looking. And then this is the 
headstock and neck for the uh, for this guy over here, the five toe. And I'm just just now getting the burgundy. This hasn't this is almost done being stained. I just got to get it a little a little darker. Looks like I don't know. I gotta I gotta hit with hit it with naphtha in order to tell for sure. But it looks like it might need to go still a little darker. That might be dark enough though. It might be dark enough. So yeah. And this once again now here I only did the uh, did like basically the purple to the red and uh, and then just blended it. So this is really only more or less a three a three tone two color burst here on the headstock as opposed to the body that's like five like five tones, three colors, or something like that. So, but yeah, this is an example of the kind of results you can get. And see, this is a veneer, and this is a veneer, this is a veneer, and none of this stuff has been stained. So, there you go. Enjoy. Until the next video. Oh, I got a lot of videos, yeah, that I should be shooting, but as usual, I'm out of bandwidth. So until the next one, everybody have a good one.